The Tahiti Sea Level Expedition posed crucial questions of climate change, of process and response, cause and effect. The expedition sought to address the cause of environmental changes on all time scales by embarking to Tahiti to conduct investigations into fossil coral reefs and to further recover complete sedimentary and coral records. French paleoceanographer Gilbert Camoin was one of two co-chief scientists who led the expedition science party during its six-week offshore coring activities. The environment that we intended to drill for the Tahiti expedition, sea level expedition, uh, was, were too shallow for the geodesic resolution. So in that case, we chose a drilling vessel uh, with a dynamic positioning system. That means that we didn't want to anchor the ship on the reefs just to preserve the environment, of course. The research expedition was operated by ECORD, the European Consortium for Ocean Research Drilling. Seventeen countries working to support mission-specific platforms on behalf of IODP. Japanese scientist Yazafumi Iryu of Tohoku University in Japan joined Kamwan as Expedition 310's co-chief scientist. Offshore Tahiti was chosen as the drilling location because the island is located in a tectonically stable region. Consequently, changes in sea level there can be related solely to global effects. Australian coral specialist Jody Webster of James Cook University is a member of the Tahiti Sea Level Science Party. Reefs will record paleoceanographic signals within their skeletons. And one of the things we're looking at are the changes in rock types and also coral forms when we move from the top of the sequence to the bottom of the sequence. Coral fossils also show how the environment has responded to man-made and natural impacts. Three months post-expedition, the Tahiti Sea Level Onshore Science Party met at University of Bremen to examine 632 meters of cord samples retrieved from 37 boreholes drilled into coral reefs. The scientists recognized that they had assembled the most accurate, complete record available today of temperature and salinity changes in the southern Pacific Ocean. The Tahiti Sea Level Expedition represents the first time that recovery of continuous fossil cores has been achieved. We collected the complete reef sequences from 40 meters down to 122 meters below modern sea level. That means that we should cover probably most of the last deglaciation, that means the transition from the last ice age to the modern time. The Tidy Sea Level Expedition will bring uh, very nice information concerning the paleoclimates, but we still need to get more coral reef archives throughout the world. At the moment, we are dealing only with two records in the total world, which is, which is uh, of course, not enough.